Jeep tip of the day, number 11, power outlet ignition or battery. Check this out, guys. This power outlet here currently has no power. As you can see, this outside ring is supposed to light up. The key is not on, but check this out. Got a cool little trick you may or may not know about. We gotta gain access to the power distribution center underneath the hood here. So we're gonna go ahead and um, unlatch this hood. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Now, as you can see here, uh, I have a massive 150 amp uh, circuit breaker here for my power inverter that's in the back. I actually powered up my whole house with that. I'll leave a link up in the description. Um, but as you can see here, we're gonna be talking about this fuse right here. All right, that little 20 amp fuse right there, as you can see, you can move it over to the left or to the right. And if we look right here, you can see this fuse 43 and 45. Come down here to 43 and 45. Cargo battery, power outlet cargo ignition. So we're gonna move this over to the battery side. So you just pull this over here. It went from here, moving it from there to there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and push that back down in there. These fuse holder things are horrible. All right, push that down in there good. Put this back. Now let's go see if we got any power. Voila, check it out. Now you got power all the time. The key is not on and we've got power. Guys, I hope you like that quick little tip there. If you like this kind of Jeep information, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit this like button. Also, if you want to take a deeper dive into your Jeep, make sure you go to brandonhainline.com and look up for the Just Ask Brandon Mentorship Program. This is where we can go one-on-one -on -one with your Jeep and I can answer any questions that you may have. Thanks guys, hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.